Are you looking for a free alternative to Microsoft Office so you can open and edit Microsoft documents, spreadsheets, and PowerPoint files? Especially in this day where many people are working from home and sharing files with one another. Well, let's take a look at probably the best free solution out there. And it's got a very appropriate name. It's called Free Office. Let's do it. To download the software, just enter Free Office in Google and the first entry, freeoffice.com, is where we need to go to get it. Okay, here's the Free Office website. They call it the best free alternative to Microsoft Office for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it says permanently free to use. And down below, they also have a free PDF editor. It's called Free PDF. So after this lesson, you can also go back here and download the free PDFs so you don't need to pay for Adobe Acrobat to edit PDF files. Okay, to download, just click free download. It should be able to detect what operating system you're using and it will give you the proper download file. So you just save this file and run it and accept all the defaults and you're ready to go. When the installation completes, it's going to create these three icons on your desktop, but I moved them off here to its own folder. So these are the three separate Microsoft equivalents. Plan Maker is the Excel alternative. Presentations is the PowerPoint and Text Maker is the Word equivalent. Okay, let's test um, Text Maker first and to properly test it, we need a document. And what better way than to get a document from Microsoft themselves? So I went to office.com and they have a page where you can get resumes and cover letter templates. So this is it. If you want to see the URL, it's here. And let's go grab one of these. Let's take something that's pretty complicated to see if it translates well into TextMaker. This one looks pretty good. So click that and download this. Should look like that. Save it. So this is the file. I'm going to open it now. Um, initially, it might not be recognizable, so you can right click it and you can say open with and select text maker. And check this box down here that says always use this app to open .x files. So it knows to associate text maker to open this kind of file. So open it. All right, so this is text maker. It does kind of look like Microsoft Word. And this is the resume template we just opened up from Microsoft. And it looks pretty good. So to edit this, just click here, anywhere, and put your name. Let's just say, chill, Tanada. You can edit whatever you want. And just to prove that we can save this, let's go to Save As over here. Name it My Resume. And look at the save as type field. You can save it as an old Microsoft Word 2007 to 2019 docx. You can go even earlier, 97 to 2003 doc. So you can save it as all of these, or you can save it as the TextMaker um, official format, which is .tmdx. And you can also save it as an open document, .odt. So you have all these um, options to, to save your document as. Let's save it as a Microsoft Word. And let's save it here. Save. Let's close it. Okay, here it is. It's saved as my resume. And it does say it's a Microsoft Word 2007 to 2019 document. And let's open it. And there you go. So it did save. So that proves that this Microsoft Word equivalent or alternative works. All right, so let's test the other ones. Okay, now let's test the PowerPoint equivalent or alternative. It's presentations. So we need a sample PowerPoint file. Let's go back to office.com and let's find one of the templates there. And here we are in office.com and I'm in the home learning section. 
Let's select this one, Field Trip Template to PowerPoint. Okay, download it. It's actually called a uh, POTX file. Let's save that. It's a blank icon, so it's not recognized by my system. So just click that, then right click it, open with, select presentations, always use, OK. OK, so look at this PowerPoint type slideshow. It looks great. This is the second slide. Third slide. Looks perfect. And you can edit this. So no need for Microsoft PowerPoint when you have free office presentations. And let's run this slideshow. Go down here. Start slideshow. That's the first slide. Second slide. Third. It works perfectly. OK. And now let's test the spreadsheet application. Free Office's Excel equivalent is called PlanMaker, so we need a sample spreadsheet file. So let's go back to office.com, select one of their templates, and we're in the home learning section. Let's select this one. It's called Homeschooling Progress Record. It's an Excel format. Download. Okay, and it's going to save as an XLTX file. Save. Again, since my system has no Microsoft Office, it doesn't know what to do with this file, XLTX file. Left click, right click, and open with Plan Maker. And keep that checked for always open with Plan Maker. And here we go. So this is a homeschooling progress record Excel or spreadsheet template. So it looks fine. It looks normal. It really looks like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And so there you go. We have free office, which has three components to it to give you the Microsoft equivalent to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. Now you can open and edit these three kinds of Microsoft applications and documents. And you don't have to pay for Microsoft's annual plan or higher, you know, one-time payment fee. Why pay when you can get it for free just as well?